Domestic violence is a sad but real issue in our community, and walks like this help spread awareness to help shed light on the problem, but more importantly, to eliminate the problem. This is the 5K Walkathon Against Domestic Violence. It's the first one coordinated by myself, Mrs. Ethnic World International, uh, 2011, and I. I chose to do a walkathon because it represents so much. People coming out and kind of giving this support by simply walking. Um, it supports all of the proceeds go towards to uh, domestic violence shelters here in Brockton, uh, Penelope's Place, and Family and Community Resources. These places represent, and it's where women end up after they've left an abusive situation. You always walk the step. The nonprofit that I have is One Way Treatment, and you can find that through Una Via, and it's www.unauna-via.com, and it has a lot of information. And what we do is, for instance, she volunteers at um, shelters. What we do is we physically help their self-esteem. So these women go through so much trials and tribulations mentally, and they're down physically. So what we do is we provide makeup services for them, new clothes, and you know people may think that's kind of not really a big deal but when their self-esteem is broken down so much just to do something nice for them and, and build them up physically obviously we can't help them mentally and that's where they have these resources it, it just takes them up a notch and you know help them with their new life and their new ventures and hopefully once they come to the shelter they can move on as new powerful women to support DV. Uh, my good friend Laverne asked me to walk. I didn't hesitate. I said sure, I would definitely do it. I think it's very important that the awareness is out there, especially with all the violence that goes on with, with women and sometimes men, and also that the youth understand the severity of domestic of the violence. Okay. Walkathon against DV was a huge success. Uh, not everyone came out to walk, but many supported in such a different way by sending in their sponsorships and donations. And I just found out that we raised over a thousand dollars. The money is going to benefit Family and Community Resources as well as uh, Health Imperatives Inc., also known as Penelope's Place, where I volunteer. Uh, you know, the weather held up, uh, not a cloud in the sky, they were forecasting rain, so that in itself was a success. And, um, you know, the people that showed up to walk, it just, it just stands for so much. They understand and know that domestic violence is wrong. And so the awareness that we promoted here today is beyond anything that uh, I could have ever imagined. The volunteers, uh, Mutual Bank supporting Shaw Stop and Shop with some of our sponsors, they just, they just, just got behind this, this initiative in such a big, big way that I can't thank everybody enough that came out. So again, we're trying to make this an annual event. We'll try to uh, keep it going and keep it uh, growing. Um, uh, so again, uh, all together, a huge, huge success. Uh, just that, you know, the more we talk about domestic violence, I want people to understand that uh, this is something that we've kept uh, soft and, 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 and unspoken for too long. It's looked upon as a taboo subject. Uh, so, you know, I'm a survivor myself. I want people to understand that, that it, you know, it comes in so many different shapes and forms that you never know when it's coming. You never initially enter a relationship thinking that it's going to end up in a domestic violence situation. But, uh, you know, the more you talk, don't keep quiet. If you or someone are in a domestic violence situation, call 1-800-799-SAFE. Again, 1-800-799-SAFE. That is the national domestic hotline number. And, uh, you know, just reach out. Please, family and friends that are involved in, in, a, in a DV situation, 
I know it's easier said than done to go and tell that person leave or you shouldn't be there or shouldn't happen to you leave but what you need to know and understand is that these all these women or victims as a whole need to get to their breaking point so provide the resources to them that they can have on hand so that when they're ready to make that step they can make it on their own and hopefully you know safely so thank you